He's saying, you're thinking ahead and wondering how many team members I'll need to complete two stages or five stages weekly. Um, so that's going to depend partly on how big of homes you're doing in your area. Um, uh, ironically, like a, a downtown loft, even though it might be a small space, can a lot of teams, a lot of times take more people and more time than a big sprawling suburban home because you've got to have the dock reserved. Um, you have to have somebody holding the elevator. You got to wait every time for the elevator to go up and down, all of that. And, and a lot of times they will only let you have a, a little short window of time that you can use the dock. <clears throat> so um, really thinking through how the, the time that it's going to take for delivery and everything. Um, if you're in an area where you're driving long distances to the homes typically, then that's going to take more time for that. Um, but uh, we, I'm trying to think, we, we used to, I mean, we, when we started out, Julie and I did it all ourselves, completely, everything. We assembled the furniture, we rented a truck, we loaded it up, drove the truck, uh, unloaded it, did the staging, staged till midnight, and then loaded up all the extras, brought that, all that back to our warehouse, unloaded the stuff, all that. So we found out pretty quickly that we could hire movers for about the same price that it cost us to, to rent the truck. We could hire movers with a truck for about the same, we were just the truck alone. So um, that's the first step is, is hiring somebody else to do that. Um, and then we also found as, our, as we started growing our team that it was better to have one stager and two movers than two stagers and one mover. Or to, when we started out, the, we would have, just have the movers come drop the stuff, leave it. And we had to do it the rest from there. And we had to uh, get the leftovers, stuff them in our cars and, and bring them back and unload it. But now we do it where there's just one of us on a stage and there's two crew and the crew do all the heavy lifting. You know, they do all the moving, they make the bed, they hang the art, they steam the bed, they clean the furniture, they dust it and everything, wipe down the glass and everything. And this, and then they, at the end, they bin up all the extras and haul them back and put them away in the warehouse. So that frees up the stager to do, to, they just stage, you know, they don't have to do the, all the other part. And that means that then they could do, maybe while the movers are doing that part, um, they could be doing a consultation in the morning and then go stage it in the afternoon or vice versa, or um, they can be pulling for another job or out marketing or <clears throat> lot, doing a lot of other things besides the physical heavy lifting part of the staging work. Um, and also we found that if there's two stagers, you're gonna spend a whole lot of time arguing about, well, I think it should go here. No, I think it should go here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and um, and either one is not going to make any difference. Just do it and get on with it, you know. And so it's <clears throat> rather than hiring an assistant stager, you might think about hiring an assistant, like a mover person, 